So I'm going to talk about today about the Malibu Transformers. So Malibu is a brand name. Originally, it was owned by a company called Intermatic, and they made uh, transformers that were magnetic like this one, but had a timer in them, uh, what we call an analog or a manual timer. They lasted forever. When you bought one of those, they just kept going and going. When Malibu was sold to a company called Brinkman, Brinkman made this one, and it's really nice. It's a little digital readout, has some settings, and the instructions are right here. Photocell screwed on the bottom, and they were really nice. The, these transformers were made up into 2014. So if you're buying one today that you think is brand new, it, it was made in 2014, but it may be brand new in the box. And that's okay. And we sold them for quite a while too. We had a lot of stock left over. When they went to auction, a lot of people bought them and they're not lighting companies and they're not landscape companies. They're people who buy big piles of things at auctions and then sell them on that big giant massive website that you know all about. So I wanted to show you because we discovered what goes wrong with these. So we took the six screws out of the back and they're laying here next to me. And we wanted to get inside and, and see if we could troubleshoot the transformer. So here it is inside. So I'm gonna take this and kind of just fold it over so you can see the guts. So there they are. So here's a magnetic transformer. We like magnetic transformers because in landscaping world, they last a long time as long as they're you know, protected in a good case and bugs don't get in and other things happen. They're just they're just good, reliable transformers. And uh, we always like that. The wiring then goes up here to the circuit board. And the circuit board is what you see on the front. And there's no problem there. There's a little dial for when you turn the, the switches. And here's a circuit board that you theoretically could unplug these and, and pull this out and put a new one in. In theory, that's, that's good. But nobody ever made just the circuit board. Malibu did not sell separate circuit boards. Um, they were never available. They're still not available today. You can't replace the circuit board, the board that I know of. Here's the issue. On the circuit board is a little battery. And actually, it looks huge in here, but it's a little battery. And it's soldered directly to the circuit board. So when this battery fails, your circuit board isn't going to operate correctly and could fail all the way. And as you know, if you have a drawer full of batteries, you let them sit for years and years and years, they're going to fail eventually. Batteries fail at some point, no matter what they are. All the rechargeable batteries out there will someday fail. And that's what's happening here. The battery fails and the circuit doesn't work anymore. And when it goes far enough, it can't recharge or even operate when power is coming to the unit. So I want to warn you about this fact on these older transformers that have batteries in them. Our pro transformers don't have batteries in them. They're all analog. They all have magnetic transformers. And we have a video on that. But I wanted to show you this one so you kind of knew what was going on with your Malibu transformer that may look great, but just doesn't work anymore. The culprit is the battery. So here's a great solution. This is our 40 watt stainless steel analog transformer for landscape lighting. It comes packed with foam and it's simple to use and very effective. It comes in a 40 watt, which is what this one is. It comes all the way up to 300 watts. So no matter what kind of landscape lighting project you have, we have the right transformer for you. So let's go over the transformer. This is really simple. It even looks simple. It has a power cord that's grounded. It comes in a stainless steel box, as I mentioned. It has a photocell on the side. That's it right here. And to activate the photocell, you unscrew the cover. And that's it. It's on. We get a lot of emails going, my photocell doesn't work. So please make sure you unscrew the little guy on the side. Uh, it comes with a simple cover. Just loosen the screws on the side here. See, right there on the side. No need to take them out. Just take the cover out like that. Inside the cover are the instructions to set the timer. And we do get a lot of emails from people saying there's no instructions in the box. They're right. The instructions inside the cover. So there's the stainless steel cover. Here's the transformer. There's only a few parts to the entire thing. The power cord we mentioned, the photo cell I pointed out, has an analog simple timer, which is replaceable. Inside is a transformer, and there's the um, reset button in case you run a short. And that's all that's to it. We love simplicity because simplicity lasts. I have one of these in my backyard, and it's 15 years old. It works just fine. And if something should go wrong, the photo cell is replaceable and the timer is replaceable. So we haven't actually done one yet, but we have them in stock. And uh, they just seem to be the, the best workhorse possible. A couple more details you should know about. There's a little notch here in the cover. 
and the, the bottom cover. And that's in case you want to run some wires in that way and not use the knockouts. It's up to you how you want to do it. If you use a knockout, we like to have a strain relief there. Helps keep the bugs out too. So there's um, three terminals here, the common 12 volt and 15 volt. You're only going to use the 15 volt uh, when you have a lot of uh, voltage loss on your line. And we actually kind of cover that in one of our other videos and when to use that. And it goes into a lot of detail. One more hint that you should consider. When you're setting this up and you're running your wires, run your wires in with it sitting on the ground or sitting on a table or something. It's easier to do that way. The wires are hard to get in here and, and, and get screwed down tight. Uh, make sure the wires are stripped and um, you can run more than one set of wires out. So you can come out of this and run, run around to one side of the house and the other side of the house and then the middle of the backyard. So you can have as many wires as will fit in here and quite a few will fit, especially if you're using a small gauge wire like a number 16. So then after you get it wired, then hang it on the wall and it comes with some really heavy duty mounting brackets. There's one here on the top and one here on the bottom. And other than that, it's simple. It's efficient, it's easy to use, and it lasts practically forever. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions on our products, please feel free to ask us. Use this email address for quick communication. Support at TotalLightingSupply.com We answer product questions all day long, Monday through Friday. However, if you ask questions on YouTube, it may be some time before we see it. Our videos are designed as an overview of our products, and we recommend hiring a qualified electrician for your project to ensure a safe installation. And as always, see the description for links to our website. See the product description on our website for important details, as well as updates and specifications. Also, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new product information. We offer information such as this video, and a level of service you will not find anywhere else. Consider using us for your project needs. All of us at Total Lighting Supply hope to hear from you soon.